Oi, oi, girls and boys and everything in between, it's Ace Trinity and back with another episode of Form Fight. Form Fight is a series where we take a look at a Pokemon with more than one form or a branched evolution or counterpart Pokemon. We have a look at the differences between those Pokemon and we try and work out which one is the best. And so we can see these Pokemon in action on the battlefield. We also have a metronome battle between the different Pokemon in question. If you're a fan of Form Fight and you're ready for more, hit the like button to show your appreciation for this series and also subscribe so you never miss an episode. But with all that out of the way, let's have a look at today's challenge. Today we're going to be comparing the three forms of Curum, normal, black and white. Now Curum can only be found in the wild in its normal form, but using the DNA splicers with normal Curum and a Zekrom in your party will remove that Zekrom from the party and use it with Curum to create black Curum. Similarly, if this is done with Reshiram instead of Zekrom, Curum will transform into white Curum. But what makes these three forms so different? Let's have a look. The Pokedex tells us that normal Curum stands at 3 meters tall and weighs 325 kilograms. Black Curum stands at 3.3 meters tall and also weighs 325 kilograms. And as for white Curum, it's the tallest, standing at 3.6 meters tall, but still weighs 325 kilograms. These three Pokemon forms share a Pokedex entry, which tells us this legendary ice Pokemon waits for a hero to fill in the missing parts of its body with truth or ideals. It generates a powerful freezing energy inside itself, but its body became frozen when the energy leaked out. In terms of appearance, these three Pokemon forms share the same basic design, but with black and white Curum incorporating parts of Zekrom and Reshiram respectively. In their shiny forms, the light blues on these Pokemon change to a faint lilac, the yellow on their heads becomes pink, and black Curum's dark blue switches to a very deep green. Now it's time to take a look at these Pokemon's weaknesses and resistances. And of course, this section's going to be pretty short since all three of these Pokemon forms are the same type. They're all dual type dragon and ice type Pokemon, making them weak to fighting, rock, steel, dragon and fairy type moves, as well as resistant to water, grass and electric attacks. Now we'll take a look at the stats and abilities of these Pokemon forms. Normal Curum has a great array of stats, boasting significant bulk along with fantastic attack and special attack. It even has decent speed, so it's certainly not a Pokemon to be scoffed at. But then again, it's a legendary Pokemon, so what did you expect? Ability-wise, it only has one ability, which is Pressure, which makes opponents spend one more extra PP for each move that they use. This ability does exactly what it says on the tin. It puts pressure on the opponent to take out Curum ASAP so as not to run out of their key move. As for Black Curum, it has the same bulk as normal Curum, aside from 10 base power being taken from the special attack stat and added to the physical defense. But it also gets an incredible 40 extra base power on its physical attack bringing it up to a gargantuan 170 base power. Its only ability is Terra Vault, which suppresses the opponent's abilities, much like Mold Breaker. This, of course, is an obvious way to cripple your opponent's strategy, since a lot of people's tactics are built around which ability their Pokémon have at their disposal. And finally, White Curum has the same stat distribution as Black Curum, only this time it's Curum's Special Attack and Special Defense that gain those all-important improvements. White Curum's ability is Turbo Blaze, which, honestly, is the same as Terra Vault, so yeah, great. Now it's time for me to decide which of these boundary Pokemon forms I prefer, and it's not gonna be a popular opinion, but I prefer the original Curem. Don't get me wrong, Black Curem and White Curem, they do have amazing stats, and they do look really, really cool, but I'm not the biggest fan of fusions. I just like how normal Curem looks unique compared to the other two. Like, if I wanna use a Pokemon that looks like Zekrom or Reshiram, I'll just use Zekrom or Reshiram. But of course, it's not just up to me. It's up to you guys to decide which of these Pokemon forms is your favorite. But before you decide, let's see these Pokemon on the battlefield. It's time for the metronome battle. Obviously, there's no way in the current Pokemon games that you can have three teams of Pokemon all facing each other. So we're going to do it like this. We're going to have the two fusions fight it out first. So we're going to have Black Curem versus White Curem. And whoever wins that battle will go on to face normal Curem straight after. Before we do start the battle, I will point out these Pokemon all have max IVs in all stats, zero EVs in all stats, they're not holding any held items, obviously they're all the same type, they all have their regular abilities because they all only have access to one ability, the only disadvantage or advantage these Pokemon have are going to come from their base stats, and everything else is up to the metronome. Let's go. 
Here we go, the battle so many of you have been asking for. Curem White versus Curem Black. Of course, the winner's going to go on to face normal Curem, who has very similar defenses and bulk to these two Pokemon. So if anybody thinks it's going to be an unfair fight, it will not be an unfair fight, I guarantee. Here we see Turbo Blaze in this battle coming out from both the White Curems and both the Black Curems are going to give us Terra Volt. Of course, these abilities aren't really going to matter in this battle because you can't suppress either of these abilities. It'd be pointless. It'd be pointless. Anyway, Shiny White is going to start things off and watch shiny white bring yours ring out onto regular black okay how is the black team going to respond all these pokemon have the same speed at the moment so it's going to be a speed tie every turn here we see regular black goes for rock polish going to increase its speed sharply so okay regular black is going to be starting every turn now that's fantastic just as i say it here we see regular white going for scold it's not going to be very effective but is it going to get the burn because that's going to cripple um cure and black because Curum Black, of course, is the physical of the two uh, Pokemon forms. We see Throat Chop. The burn did not happen, but that Throat Chop did a decent amount of damage to Shiny White. Here we see, of course, Regular Black can now start every turn guaranteed. Goes for a Heart Stamp. I don't think that's going to do... It did a decent amount of damage, I guess. Not a great amount. Here we see Shiny White coming back with a Jewel Chop. That's super effective. Going to hit for two, two hits. Oh, my word. Down goes... <laughs> Down goes regular black already. That was unbelievable. Okay, how are you going to pull back from this one? Okay, shiny black goes for ice ball. Going to lock itself in though for at least five turns. But that's neutral damage. But it's going to get stronger and stronger each turn. We see spider web coming out from regular white onto uh, black Kyurem here. Can't escape, but it doesn't need to escape. It needs to win. But that Ice Ball is going to continue as we see to get stronger and stronger, putting Shiny White in a little bit of danger there. So you need to do something to take this thing down or it's going to get overly, overly powerful. Here we see Overheat going to do some neutral damage. Fairly significant neutral damage, but it did drop the special attack of um, Shiny White there. How is regular? Hyper Beam! Oh my god, that's got to be over. The special attacking Kyurem form is going to win this one. Look at that! Oh my word! Wow. So Kyurem Black didn't stand a chance in this one. That's really unfortunate metronoming there. But let's see how Kyurem White fares against normal Kyurem. And here we go. Normal Kyurem taking on White Kyurem who just decimated the Black Kyurem team. My word. So it's White versus Normal. Who's going to fare in this one? As I said previously, these Pokemon all have very similar um, defensive stats. Apart from White has 10 more base power in its special defense. But of course, White does hit harder with special attacks. But... Normal form has the better physical attack, so we'll see where this goes. We see Powder coming out. That's going to be very dangerous if any Fire-type moves turn up in this one. We see uh, regular Normal. What's it going to respond with? It's going to go with Rock Wrecker. That's super effective, and that's going to do massive damage. Oh, my word. From turn one, anyone that thought Normal Kyurem had a disadvantage, oh, my goodness. I, I think you realize now you're wrong, don't you? Here's Poison Gas from Shiny Normal Kyurem onto both um, white forms. Oh my goodness. So already, Kyurem White is at a disadvantage in this battle. My goodness, they need to claw something back with some heavy damage from here. We see Parting Shot going to lower the attack and the uh, special attack of Normal Kyurem, the Shiny Normal Kyurem. But my goodness, there we see the Poison Damage taking effect. You need to do something quickly, White Team, because, man... <laughs> Regular white is already about to go down and we're only on what turn two here We see regular white goes with roost. It's gonna restore 50% of its HP That was lucky because my word you were about to be out of this match My goodness, okay the normal team shiny normal. What have you got for us dude? You've got vine whip. It's not gonna be very effective at all good effort though bit of chip damage You need to do better than that if you're gonna defeat white Kyurem here we see Shiny White coming out with Barrage. Going to do a little bit of chip damage. How much though? Are you going to get five hits? Are you going to get three? Any more? Four hits? And five hits. Well done. A, a complete Barrage there. Well done. Of course, normal, uh, regular normal just needs to recharge after that Rock Wrecker. But we see the Poison Damage taking effect, bringing uh, regular White back down below half HP. 
Here we see shiny white. What's it going to do? We need something big. Goes for power split. It's just wasting time at this point. You need to be doing offensive damaging moves at this point because you need to be taking at least one of these regular Kurums down. Topsy Turvy going to fail from shiny regular. Here we see, uh, uh, sorry, sorry, shiny normal. Here we see regular white with that acrobatics of course no items on these pokemon so acrobatics does double the double the damage it would have done we see bolt strike coming out it is going to be resisted but it's a fairly powerful move yeah you see it doesn't do a lot of damage because of that electric resistance from white curum again more poison damage this is not looking good for the white team i'll be honest the normal team seems to have the advantage and i'm really i'm i'm as surprised as you are to be honest ladies and gentlemen here we see it. Shiny White Kyurem goes for Fire Punch. It's neutral damage, but you're not a physical attacker, so it doesn't do a great deal of damage. We see Shiny Normal coming in with the Seismic Toss. It's going to do a set 50 damage because these Pokemon have been set to 50 uh, to level 50, but still a decent amount of damage to take, especially on a Pokemon that's poisoned. Here we see Circle Throw coming out from uh, Regular White. Doing super effective damage, bringing uh, regular normal just below the, uh, the the half HP mark. Mean luck is a wasted turn because, of course, no one's escaping from this battle anyway. But I think it's more of a taunt onto more of a taunt to the uh, the shiny white Curum there because I think the normal team know that they're in the driver's seat right now. Here we see normal shiny Curum. What's it gonna do? Gonna go for quick attack. It knows that that, uh, that, that white Curum was in danger. And down goes nor uh, regular white Curum. It's very confusing when you've got a regular normal form. Speaking of which, regular normal goes for conversion too. Gonna change itself to, I believe fire punch was the mass move. Yes, so it changes itself to a fire type. How will that play into the end of this battle? Here we see White Kyurem goes for Infestation onto Shiny Normal. Is it too little too late though? Because it's in a really bad place, especially with that poison damage, bringing it down to the red. Oh, it's not looking good. But a Boom Burst or a Hyper Voice from that White Kyurem may be the difference maker at the end of this battle. It could very easily take down both of these Pokemon. Although Fairy Wind from Shiny Normal Kyurem is going to secure the victory for the Normal team. So here is your surprising winner. Shiny, Normal Curem, and Normal Cure uh, and regular Normal Curem because they both survived. Normal Curem takes the win. Well done. You've heard what I've got to say. You've seen these Pokemon on the battlefield in action. Now let me know which of these is your favourite. Drop me a comment down below explaining which one you pick and why you think it's the absolute best. If you've enjoyed this episode of Form Fight, hit that like button. It helps me out massively. If we can get like 250 likes on this video, that would be amazing. Don't forget to subscribe with notifications on so you never miss a video from me. But until next time, I'm Ace Trainer Liam. Keep on training.